Hello everybody! This video will tell you about hotkeys or key sequences in such browsers as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera and Microsoft Edge. I will show you the key sequences which I find most interesting and useful, where to learn them, how to change them and assign them. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Here we go! In one of the previous videos we had a look at Windows key sequences and how to assign or change them. Find the link in the description. Now let's start with tabs. If you've opened many tabs while working in the browser, press Ctrl-1 or Ctrl-8 to select the one you need without using the mouse. It switches the screen to the tab corresponding to the number of the key you press. For example, 1 takes you to the first tab and so on. Pressing Ctrl-9 will take you to the last tab. Using Ctrl-Tab takes you to the next tab, that is, one step to the right. To go one step back to the left, Press Ctrl Shift Tab. The shortcut Ctrl W will close the current tab. If you close the tab by accident and you want to have it back, the combination Ctrl Shift T opens the last closed tab, or several of them, one by one. The next step is navigation. The most well known navigation button in any browser must be F5. You can use it to refresh the active page. It is useful when expecting an update on a certain page or an important email. To return to the previous page, press ALT – left arrow. ALT – right arrow is an opposite command that sends you to the next page. If you want to stop the page that's downloading, press ESCAPE. Loading the page will stop. Key sequence ALT – home quickly opens the browser home page. To zoom in or out, hold Ctrl and press plus or minus. You can also do it by moving the scrolling wheel while holding down Ctrl. Ctrl 0 takes you back to the original scaling. Working with large web pages can turn using the scrolling wheel into a tiresome exercise. Yet, it can be avoided. By simply pressing page up or page down, you can quickly move the page on one screen up or down. All respectable websites usually have a button to take you back to the top of the page, just like our website. If there is no such button, press Home. The web page will jump to the beginning. In order to get to the bottom of the web page, press End. Sometimes links to web pages can be very long. It makes it difficult to select them with a the mouse. To quickly select a link to an active page or any other text in the address bar, press ALT-D. After that, you can copy and paste it by pressing Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V accordingly. One more thing about links. If you are in a page which you wouldn't like to close, but you want to open a link in a new tab, put the mouse cursor on it and left-click while holding down Ctrl. If there is no search field attached to your browser window and you need to find a word or phrase in this page, press Ctrl F. This shortcut starts a search tool in the current page. Just enter the word you're looking for in the search field and find the one you need using arrow keys. The browser history log is quite deep in the menu, but to view history, just press Ctrl H. The same applies to downloads. Ctrl J open downloads. To start a tool cleaning history, cache and downloads, press Ctrl Shift Delete. Another one is for advanced users. Press Ctrl U to view current web page code. This is only a small share of browser hotkeys. I tried to show only those working with most browsers in the top list. If you are interested, go to the description to find links to official web pages offering all possible key sequences for the most popular browsers. 
there are different ways to change the standard browser shortcuts. In Google Chrome, these are extensions installed from the browser's online store, for example, hotkeys or shortkeys. In the same way, key sequences can be changed in Mozilla Firefox. Users often recommend key config or Doranda config. You can find the links to the corresponding extensions in the description. Opera features a built-in option to change or assign key sequences. To do it, go to Settings, Browser, Shortcuts, Configure Shortcuts. In the menu that opens, find the necessary action and assign a shortcut you like. To do it, click on the field Type a shortcut and press any key sequence. That is all for now. If you found this video interesting, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching. Good luck.